Welcome to Weekend Project. I'm Laura Lynn of the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop, and we're very happy to see you here today. <laughs> Mr. Clive. Uh, today we're working on how to work with panels, uh, number two, because uh, we're trying to bust a few throughout the year because we have lots to deal with, and I have a um, baby quilt project to take on. So uh, I sent my customer the full panel and said I'd like to, you know, chop it up and make some fun blocks and so on and so forth, you know, make it fun instead of just leaving it as the panel it was. Uh, so I've decided to do a couple of pinwheel blocks and then use what they have as a section on the outside of the block or, or the panel at the top and the bottom as you will see here the chickadees and the little monkeys on the bottom because there's a safari one and I uh, turn those into blocks themselves so I turned these guys uh, there's two of these that's why it'd be nice to show you this um, so I turned these guys into stars okay see ten and a half inch stars so that's what I did with that block, okay? And then just to make some pinwheels, and of course you could, you know, do them any way you like, make them smaller, make it bigger, make it so it's like a four patch. I did a pinwheel that was about nine inches and then just add a little strip of fabric around either side to bulk it out to be its 10 and a half. You can be very creative with this process. Um, if you want, you can just use the whole panel as it is and start building it out from there as a, this is the, the square of the log cabin and just build and build and build and build and build and keep going. I thought it'd be fun to mix a few blocks and uh, see how see what came of it. You know, just have some fun and pick some colors from my stash. I had a big bucket here of uh, creams and tans and beiges and, you know, and, and of course I was just trying to pull for some colors from this quilt project itself. So I did like tans and beiges and some green, uh, 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 some grays, not greens, and a little bit of blue just because there was a little bit of blue in here. But that doesn't mean that it has to be, you know, a boy in gender. Just, you know, it was just a a lovely soft baby baby uh, uh, colored blue so um, and that's you know that's there we go so that's the the panel that I started with and I'll show you what I've come up with so far <laughs> so you can see I've trimmed off the top and the bottom and then of course I made a monkey and a bird uh, bir uh, star and then I'll make m the same for the bottom as well and then I've got the pinwheels and then of course another of the bird and the monkey to go on either side so it bulks it up nicely and it does a nice creative uh, part uh, you know um, creativity on your part on how to build it out so and I had this leftover material from the giraffe project remember that the quilt kit I thought it went very well with this considering it was safari and uh, I love the little leaves on it so I just kind of went with a few of the scrappy uh, or from my staff my cream and tan and beige uh, stash and just kind of build out a lovely little project so that's it so far and we're just working on it so here's one side minus the bottom part for the pinwheels and then I just chose some two and a half inch squares by two and a half inch squares uh, to uh, be a little gap in between of uh, the blocks and just kind of fill it out so it was going to be the length of the the block set that I had going on so Unfortunately, Mr. Magoo thinks it's playtime and has had his claws in the back of my pants there for a moment. So, yeah, that wasn't pleasant. So we're just going to move on. <laughs> Let's scoot him off. So here's one of the monkeys that I, had, I cut out just roughly. And I need to make it about five and a half by five and a half to make a ten and a half by ten and a half inch star with it. OK, so you just kind of line it up on your board. Give it some trim ins. Not too much. Just trying to make it equal on all sides. You know it needs to be five and a half, and uh, you don't want to lose too much of the lovely little circle part. So I chose something that was going to be uh, very flexible in that area, just to it still kind of keep the, the circle of the monkey. So and same with this within the square of the chick, the chickadee. All right, just put it on your board. Like I said, just be patient. You may have to trim a little bit here and trim a little bit there to get it nice and even, but it's better to that than have one side too short and one side too long. So, okay. That's a half. Okay. 
There we go. So that's a five and a half by five and a half inch square. And of course, this could easily go into your scrap bucket to make something else with. Just tuck it in. Um, and the pieces, of course, that I met uh, that was in between were just two and a half, two by eight, two by two. The just the squares, and I just cut it up with the fabric that I've been using within this project itself. So, all right. So let's do the star first. Okay, so there we, of course, we have our center, and you could make a square and a square center. You could be doing a smaller star that ends up being six, uh, five and a half by five and a half at the end, and so you got a star and a star. I mean, it's completely up to you. Feature fabric, uh, just panel pieces that I'm using as, as well as from from the panel. You know, just just you know, be be creative within within yourself too. Okay, so what we'll need is one of these uh, five and a half by three for each side. And then we're going to come in with this lighter kind of marbly tan fabric and come in and go here and then sew across and sew across. And then that's going to get us our little star shapes just like that. Okay. Very, very, very nice and pretty. There we go. I'll leave that there so you can see it. Okay. But we're going to work on one side at a time and then come back and do the other. And of course, this is a great opportunity to be able to get another square out of that corner fabric because they're asking you to use a whole square. And I've already collected this so far from a half square triangle bucket. So, and we all know I'm going to try and make a bag out of that. If not, I'm like a, a serious wall hanging. So, okay. And then of course, these ones will go here in these corners of these squares, the three by threes, and then that makes out our beautiful star. If I put the monkey towards you guys, then you get to see it. There, go. <laughs> okay, all right, let's get to sewing. Hey, buddy. Scoot, scoot, you're on a pedal. <laughs> it's like, wait a second, I don't like what's going on here. So just line it up, go from the corner. B, if you need to make a mark, then go ahead and make a mark. I'm trying to... Um, just kind of eyeball it and hope I don't make too many mistakes. I'm trying to do it standing up instead of sitting down. So we'll see how that's going to go. Oh, oh, it doesn't seem to be so good so far. Hold on. What's going on here? Oh, what a mess. Okay, let's just, let's pull all that out. Let's pull all that thread out. I clearly made some sort of an error going on there. It's okay. Sometimes Janie's very temperamental. Okay, little seam ripper here, just to make sure we're trying to get air, all the little um, cumbersome threads out. Okay, get a little tug if you need to. Yeah, because it's just going to hinder your um, your process. So sorry about this. But this is what happens in the sewing room. Things that are annoying and make you go. Mm. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> Everybody knows it. <laughs> All right, let's go <laughs> make sure it's gone the right side first. There we go. All right, let's start from the center of the top and work our way out to this corner right here on a, hopefully a nice straight line. This is where some of those laser tools and gadgets are very helpful, but you could easily just make a pencil mark. Okay, and then from here, this is where they want you just to cut it off. If you were to just make the star the way it was, just to cut it off right here. Well, that seems to be a wasted fabric to me. So what I do is come in and just do the width of my foot because I know it's about five eighths to the end of here. And that's enough for me to cut in between and be able to, you know, use this half square triangle as well as still be enough of a seam allowance for this block project itself. So just come on in, just hug on the outside of it and then trim. And then right there, you just kind of cut right on that line, just right in between. Sorry, not right on the line, but right in between, okay? And that gives you, if you go and press it out, about a two by two half square triangle. And that, it just goes in a bucket and you just make something with it. So that's what I've been saving them up for. And then this just gets a press and then it gets lined up for the second one to go on the same side. Or the same way, but uh, to the other side, not the same side. You know what I mean. You know what I mean, jelly beans. <laughs> and same, just come over with the foot. I mean, it's an extra step. Yes, it's thread, but it's a, a you know far less waste of fabric. At least you get some two-inch half, half square triangles you can actually do something with. I've been collecting for about two and a half years. 
So I'm very excited. Once we're done our weekend live stream project, I'm gonna take that challenge on and try and put them all together and make something beautiful. So these little triangles that you're adding is actually gonna be adding to the star. It's actually gonna try and make that star shape around your whole little block, okay? So that would be one, and then we'll just work on the others as we go along. I think, I feel like I'm short. <laughs> did I not cut enough? Maybe I didn't. Uh -oh. I think I'm, I lost half of mine, so here would be here, here, and here, and here. I'm missing two, for some reason I'm missing two. Oops. Where is it? Where's the fabric? Uh, I could probably use, the, I know why, because he's had the little salvages on it. So let's see, let's see how we can actually make that work and um, not discourage us from our project. Okay, I think if we do this, okay, line that up. Oh, right, I remember now. Here. Oh, no, that's definitely not going to work. Okay, let's take the seam ripper. We just have to cut two new pieces. I thought maybe I could make it work, but it's not going to. You could still see the white, and we don't want to see the white. Okay, that's all right. Better to know than cut, and we could have used it, so that's all right. No big deal. Just have to find it. What did I do with it? I thought I had a big enough chunk of that left over. Oh, I think that is here. We just need two threes. Mm, there we go. Sorry. <laughs> it happens. <laughs> there we go. I think I meant to cut two new ones when I once I saw that the salvage was there. And of course you don't want to really use the salvage because it's really just gonna deter from your project when someone's looking at it, so. Because you're going to say, well, what's that? Oh, Northcott? <laughs> or, you know, what have you. All right, so move that over there. Okay, now we're back on track. We've got everybody in place. Okay, so we'll finish these guys off here the way they need to be to be the star. Okay. Come on, you. We're in for a lot of snow next week. We got, I think it's Tuesday, Wednesday that we're in for uh, 10 centimeters each day. So there we go. That goes into the pile, the half square triangle bucket. And this gets a little hand press and line up the next one and then just do the same. Okay. So hopefully this encourages you to bust a panel in your project. Oh my God. I'm just having a day. I'm having, it's been used too much today. <laughs> Janie's having a moment. Uh oh. She really sewed in there. There we go. Oh, fine. <laughs> Deep, calming breath. It'll be okay. okay. Now, why? Why, Janie? Sometimes I swear you're like the cat when we go on camera. Y'all weird. Are you camera shy, Janie? <laughs> Don't be camera shy. <laughs> Glive's not, <laughs> right, buddy? <laughs> I see you. <laughs> All right, again. I don't know why. No, you don't need to, thanks. <laughs> He's trying to jump in my chair. He's like, but mama, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh my God, fine, jump in it, go ahead. You're good anyways. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Joys of life of a cat. Life with a cat. Okay, all right, let's try and do this a different way. Maybe get not such the corner underneath. There we go, that's better. I think I was just trying to jam it in right under. And because it's on an angle, you have to give it a little bit of kind of meat or fabric first before it'll work properly. So. <laughs> I 
Oh, Mr. Clive. Okay, so there's another one, and that's another part of the star. Okay, let's get this one done. And just mix and match the fabrics. I took inspiration from the, the panel itself. Thanks, Clive. Uh, I just took inspiration from the panel itself to figure out uh, where to go with it, what colors to pull, um, what colors to try and match. It's, it's, a, a, we don't know the gender of the, the baby and it's you know, supposed to be a surprise, I guess, or whatever, but we don't want to make it too specific. In fact, there's one of the blocks that has a little bit of a pinky tinge to one of the fabrics. So I thought that kind of evened it out between the, the blue and the pink, you know. And as well as there's lots of tan, lots of grays, and uh, definitely a, a mix of fun fabrics. Okay. All right, and this way too. Get it on. Very excited about uh, later today. We will be doing our first cross stitch stream at noon Eastern. Uh, you probably just will have the camera on what I'm working on, not necessarily me. So uh, that'll be a, a definitely a, a change. And, and I'm going to be working on a little cross stitch uh, project that's called Sisters or Sister with uh, some little flower pots and the word sister written on it. So I'm very excited to start that. It was a gift from my middle sister. So. That has made me very happy to be able to start that project. It's been a while since I've been since I've had it, and I would really like to be able to uh, start and finish it for sure, and be able to take on that journey with uh, people who want to do it with me. So, or just work on a project with me, or just hang out and chat. Well, doesn't have to be too complicated. Just hang out and chat. Let me change some colors and, and, and just go from there. Just uh, be, be, be fun and have, have fun. All right, so there's this last one here. And then we'll give these ones a little press, the ones we've been adding the triangles to, or to, to make the triangles to. We'll give them a press before we start making that star block, okay? And that doesn't take very long. This is like the longest part right here. It's trying to add on the little, the, the, the squares. Okay, then trim that, and then we'll press these four, okay? Move these blocks over here. And it's just, it just a matter of process of, you know, figuring out what you need, how wide you want to make it, uh, being very flexible with your fabric, adding like the little squares, a couple rows of squares, and adding a little two-sided border piece. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be too complicated to make something completely uh, beautiful and, um, and very, and very lovingly crafted because you had, you know, you, it's, it's, busting your stash and you're making something for a beautiful little young one that's going to be popping into the world any moment sort of thing. If it happens to be a baby one like this one. And there's so many to go with. So there we go. That would be one little star block right there. Easy peasy. Okay. Okay. So I'll show you that just quickly put together and then I'll show you how to make a quick little pinwheel. Easy, few squares. Okay, we just want to add one of these squares on either side of these three and a half by three, and a, or sorry, three by three, not three and a half. Sorry, three by three. Three by three. Okay, and we'll add that there. We'll add these on either side, and we'll just add those rows together. Just make sure your long sides of your fabric that you're adding are towards the center of your block and that makes sure that you're doing your points of your stars out. Right, just like that. Okay. And then you got a beautiful, beautiful star going on. And I love the stars, especially for adding to babies, uh, baby quilts. Um, the last one we did was with the cats, the cat panel with the little blocks, and we kind of made that like a center of a log cabin sort of idea, so that was number one. Go check that out if you like. That was a fun video to do. 
Um, and of course this one, we're trying to work on a baby quilt. And I've got other like themed ones too. I've got a nice purple panel with, that I've had in the quilt shop for a little bit now. And I'm gonna make another baby quilt out of it, but I'm trying to make it different than the other ones I've done because I think I've done the panel twice so far. And it's just, I'm just trying to draw inspiration from uh, what I've seen on the web, on Pinterest, and what I've seen, you know, scrolling through Facebook and getting inspired by uh, all the people in their lovely crafts. So, and of course, if you would like to join us in your craft and craft, displaying your craft, you can join us at www.wesewit.com and sign up for the Online Quilters Guild. And you can, there's all sorts of crafts involved in that. You can, there's all sorts of categories from, you know, clay work to crocheting, knitting, doing other things besides quilting, gardening. Very curious about the gardening ones. So I'll be partaking in that ones for sure. All right, here, there we go. We're working on it. See, making our little star here and I just I'm pinning at those uh, intersections where those seams are lining up between the squares and the points of the star uh, because those are kind of important and it helps keep the block square uh, from the get-go so line them up stitch down keep them together flip and flop the seams and you'll have a much uh, square or square is that even a word uh, a more precise quilt than the end <laughs> All right, so that is the star block. Really, Clive? There we go. And we'll just give that a little press, okay? There we go, lovely. Probably could do a little better on this corner here, but I think it looks pretty good so far, okay? And then the next one is to do for the, um, for the uh, pin pinwheel, very, very easy, is just take a, a square of fabric, and the two you wanna to put together to make your pinwheel. So you're gonna make pretty much two at a time because if you do a line right down the center and sew on either side of those lines, it gives you two cuts and then that gives you uh, two parts. So you only need four squares of fabric to make one pinwheel block, okay? And make sure your right sides are together. Sometimes it's hard to tell with solids, so. Um, just make sure, that's why I usually try to mark on the solid side. Okay, so you see my little line, I'm just gonna sew a quarter inch on either side and then cut right on that line, okay? And as we discussed in the other video of uh, five most popular used feet, uh, this is the one is usually most for home decor and just regular sewing because from the center line out here to the plastic little where it meets up with the metal is about a quarter of an inch. So it's nice to be able to line that up. Trucking on straight down. Get the other one under there, lined up. And we'll do it on the other side and then cut on that line and we'll have four half square triangles to make a pinwheel. And that's all it takes is to make a pinwheel. So you got two blocks today. You got like a pinwheel block and a star block. And kind of what to, what to possibly do with a panel you've had maybe in your closet or got for $1.99 sale and you just don't know what to do with it. Well, here's hoping I've helped inspire you just a little bit to tackle that panel and either make it for charity, make it for a loved one, make it for yourself, make it for a Christmas gift. Do, do something with it. Don't just look at it. All right, so cutting on that line gives me these beautiful half square triangles, okay? And then you give a little press, line it up whichever way you want your pinwheel to turn because it's the two fabrics. It's up completely up to you. Uh, and then just kind of spin and spin and spin as soon as I get there. There we go. And then we go. Put that two together. You can cut off those little dog ears before or after. That's completely up to you. And just try to make sure those little seams are snug. Okay. And the, oh, that's not the right. 
There we go. <laughs> it's like, wait a second here. That doesn't seem right. There we, go. we fixed. We fixed. No problem. Okay. Okay, and then we just line those up and make our beautiful pinwheel. Just like that, one on top of the other. Make sure all those points are coming together. That's why it's kind of handy to be able to chop those off, get them out of the way so they don't add any bulk to the underside of the quilt. Okay. Okay. And then give it a press. And trim out the outsides, these little tips, and then you just add a couple little strips to bulk it out to the size that you need. So, is that awesome? Okay. So, that is the blocks I am using to finish out this little quilt project. So, I hope that has inspired and at least started maybe some creative juices. And then, of course, square it up because I think it's nine, or nine and or nine and a half or something like that. And of course, you can always make a bigger pinwheel. I just thought about adding a little bit of border fat. You know, I was just trying to trying to make it a little 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 different. That's all, a little different. So those are the two blocks I've been work. I will finish up. I think I only got. I think that's it. I don't, I don't know. I got to put some stuff together. <laughs> it's getting there. But this is the panel I started off with, and then this is the progress of what's definitely going on here. Okay, just like that. And of course for the bottom part, I'll put the reverse, I'll put the, the chicken over here and the monkey over here. And then put the little strip of fabric in between. I had my, mm, I know I had strips over here. <laughs> Tuck them away, let's have tucked them away. And then the strip in between right there and then bulking out the sides of this beautiful uh, baby quilt project. So, all right, T stay tuned for a, a finishing photo and uh, I hope you uh, have a fantastic day. We'll see you later for the um, cross-stitching project. Uh, if you want to at noon Eastern, uh, this will be January 31st, 2020. And other than that, we will see you on Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern when we work on uh, the Joey bags and the uh, Prairie Moon project, okay? So thank you very much for watching, liking, and subscribing. We greatly appreciate it here at the Mom and Pop Quilt Shop. Big hugs to you, and we'll see you soon.